to Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did? Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Super Dinosaur was toast! But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's, uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Mm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... You watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? 
My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. No more, please! No more, please! Lee! 